McLaren bought the rights to the Nissan VRH35 engine, and we wanted to learn more about the history of that engine that was the foundation for the M838T. In the 1980s, Nissan Motor Company started building the VRH line. V stood for the V configuration, R stood for racing, and H symbolically stood for the eight cylinders, since H is the eighth letter in the alphabet. The 3.5 liter V8 engine first appeared in the iconic 1989 Nissan R89C, where it produced up to 790 horsepower. Nissan teamed up with British manufacturer Lola to create a few R89C chassis. Then it entered the 1989 World Sports Car Championship and the All Japan Sports Prototype Championship. In Europe, the car finished fifth in the championship. In Japan, it finished third. Fast forward a few years. Nissan had continued developing the engine alongside Tom Walkinshaw Racing, and now they placed the VRH35L into the 1998 Nissan R390 GT1, a prototype supercar and race car. The engine created 640 horsepower and 520 pound-feet of torque, and first raced in the 1997 24 Hours of Le Mans, where one of the cars finished fifth. In 1998, all four cars finished the race, placing third, fifth, sixth, and tenth. Tom Walkinshaw Racing held the rights to the engine design until McLaren bought them in the late 2000s. Though McLaren made many changes to the design to make the M838T its own, the spirit of the VRH35 still powers McLarens today. Thank you for watching.